Recently, I had the pleasure of working with a handful of talented animators on a trailer recreation for the Obi-Wan Kenobi teaser. I was able to work on a couple of shots for the collaboration and wanted to delve into how I accomplished some of the more challenging scenes. First, I'd like to mention that a majority of the shots that I did for this collab was accomplished by using a program called Blender, which is an amazing software that allows you to expand your sets and increase the spectacle of your animations in the 3D landscape. There are numerous tutorials online that provide step-by-step -step instructions with how to get started, and I highly recommend giving some of them a watch if you are even remotely interested. If you've just opened Blender for the first time, <laughs> you might have discovered you need help immediately. <laughs> So I had the challenge of animating a shot where I had to digitally color correct the main subject in post. The editing process ended up taking much longer than the animation because I wanted to make sure that the object looked as realistic as possible. This shot was accomplished by using a K2SO minifigure and then going through the steps to change the entire color of the figure as well as adding some lens flares and glowing elements. As you can see, I went through a variety of different colors before I finally came upon the finalized version. The rest of the scene including the stormtrooper and the background were added as separate layers and keyframe to increase in size to give the perspective of a moving camera. This trailer contained many expansive scenes that required the use of Blender which meant I had to strain my computer to its full limits. This shot of the train is a perfect example of how I used an entirely CG landscape and Lego train to recreate the scenery. I then animated the digital camera to mimic the motion from the trailer by keyframing the starting and ending points of the camera and letting the program do the rest. Now my computer isn't powerful enough to completely render all of these components into one image, so I exported all of the elements separately so my PC wouldn't implode. Doing this is also extremely helpful when it comes to the amount of freedom that is possible when editing a scene, because you can independently edit each element separately without affecting the entire image. I placed all three video files on top of one another in HitFilm and voila! To top it all off, I added some color correction, motion blur to the train, as well as some 3D dust and smoke. The shot with the Inquisitor ship landing was also completely made in a digital space, with the same process as previously mentioned which resulted in the final result. Another happy landing. Now for a more complicated use of Blender, this scene was perfect for such a challenge. I of course had to firstly animate the foreground with a makeshift blue screen that you can see here, which was simply set up by getting multiple Lego boxes and placing blue shirts over them. Not the best blue screen in the business, however, it works for the limited amount of equipment that I currently possess. Once the scene of the wide angle was finished, I then animated a close-up of Luke just as seen in the trailer. Now of course the raw footage simply cuts to this angle, which is not what we want. So I added an effect in HitFilm that adds a virtual zoom in between the two clips. Good job! The next step was to remove the blue shirts from the wide angle, which took some time to adjust, but I was luckily able to do a decent enough job. Then I created the background in Blender and added it behind the animated video. Lastly, there was the problem of how to get the binocular effect around the frame. So after some experimenting, deep thinking, and meditation, I came to the conclusion that... I should just use the exact effect from the trailer. <laughs> Added some distortion effects to the entire scene, and that was that. Alright, now I think that about wraps this behind the scenes video. Please go and support the collaboration and all of the incredible animators who helped put this recreation together. I've linked all of their channels in the description and hope to work with them all again soon. Please stay tuned for more videos from me in the future. And without further ado, stay dummy thick.